So if you want to make a drop down menu in Google Sheets that looks something like this, that has a few different options that you can select from using this menu, um, it's called data validation and it's actually pretty simple to make. So let's get started making one from scratch. So what you do is you find the cell that you want it to appear in, right click, just come down to this bottom here where it says data validation. And here you have a few different options. The most basic one is list of items. And here we can put in our different options. So we have option A, option B, and option C. So you can put in as many as you want. We're going to show this drop down list in the cell. And we have a few other formatting options here. But basically, you hit save. And then now you can have all of the different options that you want. Now, there's another way to do this as well. So if we have a list of the options somewhere else in the sheet, for example, here, we have option A, option B, and option C. We can reference this list instead of typing it manually in when we're designing this thing. So we can have a different cell here, right click, data validation. And here we can have select a list from range. And here we go enter the range of formula, or it's even easier if you just click these little uh, boxes here and we select the range manually. If you don't want to type it in yourself, you can hit OK and save. And this one here is actually going to be driven off of these three cells. So we can actually change them. So we could have option one, option two, and option three. And notice here that now this has changed. So that's pretty useful. Um, for lots of different applications and you know like we can even work this into formulas somehow for example we can say something like we can do an if statement so if I don't know this cell is equal to option one then we'll just display the number one okay and then we can actually that's just uh, for example, we can just drop in a few more here. So we have option two and option three, and then we would just display that number, um, the numeric version. And so here, as we change this, this cell gets updated. So there's a lot of applications that you can use this for, but basically that's how you get started with making drop-down menus in Google Sheets.